consciousness, not gonna lie, not really a fan of it right now. Welcome to the vlog. It is uh, just before 8. It is a Saturday. I am, whoa, tired and um, I did not want to get up today. It was a struggle. Like I got up, I started getting ready, like brushed my teeth, got half dressed and then laid back down in bed, set an alarm and tried to sleep for like five minutes. That's how tired I am today. So Great start to the day. I'm still, like I mentioned yesterday, thinking about getting a camera today. So you know how I was just not impressed with having to buy an office chair because it's so expensive. Let me tell you how unimpressed I am about buying a new camera. I wanna buy a new camera because this one has problems. In low light, it's got a dead pixel. The inside has smudges on the lens that I, I'm afraid to open up and clean because I've had to open it up to fix it before. And it's a very stressful experience. So there's many reasons. It's over two years old. It gets used every day. It's got wear and tear. There's many reasons to get a new camera. Getting a new camera is going to happen within the week. I decided that I was gonna buy it in November, like a while ago, like November, end of November. I guess it's gonna be like middle of November probably, but decided I was gonna buy one, so I've come to terms with that, but it still sucks. <laughs> it's actually though, like despite being probably too, well, okay. Despite being significantly more expensive than the chair, because I use it, like, I mean, I'll use the chair on a regular basis too, but it doesn't suck as much. I still really like, I could have bought this camera like months ago, but I just, I just didn't want to spend the money. But probably today we're gonna do it, we'll see. Like, I mean, if I am pass out exhausted after work, probably not gonna happen, but I'm hoping that I will be awake and jazzed and I'll get my second, third, fourth, I don't know what one will be at at that point, and we will buy the camera, and then I'll go home and have a nap. And then I will open the camera, although I think I'll struggle to nap if I've got a new camera. Is it camera day, guys? I think it's camera day. Still not 100% sure, but like 99, okay. Anyway, I'm gonna go before I pass out right here, have my breakfast drink, hope that wakes me up, and then start the day, because the sooner I get set, the sooner I can leave. Alrighty, so I am done for the day now. It's noon, I'm just going out to do my timesheet, because it is timesheet day, and it is pouring rain outside. Oh dear, I do not want to go out there. They're also setting up for a play that is here this week. And so there's so many people in the theater at the moment, uh, just like hanging things on the stage and all that fun stuff. I had no idea they were setting up. And so I uh, was very surprised when one of my coworkers came in. I was like, oh, was not expecting that. So yeah, I just gotta be responsible here and sign my timesheet to be like, I'm not lying, I actually work these days. <laughs> and then um, pack up my bag and I am good to go. This pen really sucks. It's a volunteer pen. <laughs> Crappy pen. Anyways, and then I'm gonna go pack up my bag and then I guess it's camera time. Am I really gonna go spend all the money on a camera? I don't know if you can tell, but it's rainy and it's windy. There's like lakes forming over there. Fun! Alrighty, so it has been some time. It is now almost 2.30. I got off work 
and then went for lunch and then we had some errands to run and then grocery shopping fun stuff you know you gotta have food for dinner and then i did the thing ah! the canon eos m50 um i've been thinking about this camera for a while i know a lot of youtubers use it for like their daily vlog setup and so it was kind of on my list it was like how much was it it's like 899 dollars and then it went down to like 799 dollars and so i was like all right i'm gonna get it this month like i said earlier today it's happening this week or maybe that was yesterday i don't know um and then black friday sales pre-black friday sales it went down to 6.99 and i was like still really expensive but it's cheaper and so um i was like yeah sure and and then i went on amazon and i was like oh it's 20 dollars cheaper than that i wonder if london drugs which is where i got it from will price match and they did 6.79 still expensive but considering it's listed on the canon site for i think a thousand and ninety nine dollars i'll take it so i guess let's do an unboxing open please Ooh. and we open it and the first thing is a little thing that tells you to get an app that tells you how to use your camera hey look it's peter mckinnon you go peter mckinnon he's a youtuber check him out he does cool things um warranty stuff he's also canadian and i'm all about canadians <laughs> user manual which I kind of like this camera here which is the Canon G7X uh, Mark II I never really looked at the user's manual for and I feel like because this one has more features I should probably do that with this one so yeah so like ISO settings and all that fun stuff especially like white balance and then register now All right, so, box. <laughs> How do you do unboxings? I've got the Canon strap, which, I mean, I have the wrist strap, eh, on this one. So, I'm definitely gonna rock this on there. Gotta protect my baby. And then we have a battery. One of the first things I'm going to do, because this is not the same battery, obviously, as this one, is I'm gonna pick up some, like, off-brand batteries, because I have three batteries for my G7X, and let me tell you, having an extra battery makes life so much easier because when you run out of battery life, you don't have to stop what you're doing and charge it. You can just switch batteries, which I found super helpful. Um, to start, I'll probably just try to charge this like every other night until I get an extra battery. They're like 100 bucks each. I think I've seen cheaper ones on Amazon. The, the Canon ones are like 100 bucks each. I don't have Canon ones for this. I just have, what are they? No, DSTE. They're just, these are the ones that I have for my G7X as the backups. And they have worked a charm for me. I haven't had any issues with them. So that is probably the route I will go. And now, now we're starting to get into the good stuff. Wait, charging pack, less the good stuff. Now we're starting to get into the good stuff. All right, here is the camera body. It's so pretty. I get it. And then this one, unlike the G7X, has a screen that pops out and swivels. So that should be very interesting because one of my biggest complaints with the G7X is the screen because it flips up and the screws constantly come loose. I've lost one of the screws, so fortunately I got a um, eyeglasses repair kit and it had a screw that worked for that. But honestly, I use this screw that came in the kit like every day. Maybe not every day, but pretty regularly to make sure that my screen doesn't fall off because I've seen people that have their screens taped on and that's not cool. So I'm excited to see what a difference this will make. Ooh, and now the lens. So it comes with a 15 to 45 lens. I think eventually I might get a, an 11 to 22 or maybe a wide angle. I don't know. Eventually I'll probably get a different lens, but honestly, right now, I'm good with this one. There it is. It's cute. It's little. Yes, cute is what we're going for. But 
I'm excited that I can actually change out lenses. I know that it doesn't have the greatest availability for lenses, but it's okay. It should be fine. But if I'm upgrading my vlogging kit, and I was thinking about this last night, I was like, I'm spending so much money on a new camera. Is it worth it? And I was like, you know, my view counts have been going down a bit watch hours down and I was like you know what I don't care I just enjoy vlogging and I just want to keep doing it and I want to have better equipment because screen and like I said I think yesterday there's inside the lens there's dirt and stuff and it's two years over two years old now yeah it's like two and a half years old now it's got me through quite a bit it's gone a few places it's been to Paris it's been to Orlando twice etc like it has done me well, and I'm not getting rid of it, of course. Like, I will still keep it as my handy little grab-and-go, but I'm so excited for this. But one of the other things that I didn't like about the G7X is that you can't attach an external microphone. Oh my god. It is raining so hard outside right now. I don't know if you can hear it. And I actually, in the summer, I tried to buy um, an external mic for my GoPro, but... um. I don't think they ever shipped the item because it never got to me. Also, I wasn't sure if it was actually going to work with my GoPro. In the picture, it showed it working with the GoPro. But honestly, I wasn't sure it was going to. And then it just never showed up. So what can you do? So I looked at, like, shotgun mics. And I was trying to figure out what I want, which way I want to go. But I've seen people who have, like, this camera and who have, like, a dead cat that's, like, that big on top. And I was like... I don't really, like, this is already a bigger camera than the G7X, and I don't really want to have, like, a giant cam- or giant microphone sticking off it all the time. So, I decided to invest a little bit more money, <laughs> and I got the Wireless Go Rode system. So, this basically has- you can attach, um, an actual microphone to it, but it actually has its own microphone built in. Alright, so- it's got a microphone built into the uh, pack that you can just wear on your lapel, uh, or you can attach an actual, what are they, la lav mics to it. Um, but if you're going to try it, because here's the thing, like, again, watching other YouTubers with, like, the shotgun mics is if they're vlogging like this, it's fine because they have the mic facing this way, but if they turn it around and they're still talking, but if they don't remember to turn the mic around, then the uh, audio quality or the volume isn't the greatest, so I figured, let's give this a try, and I hope I don't hate it, because it was like two and a half times more expensive than getting a shotgun mic. <sighs> this, by the way, um, retailed, again, sale, so it's two fifty nine originally, but Best Buy was showing it for two thirty nine, and they didn't have any in the stores or we go to the store, but instead... I just um, went into London Drugs because they had it and they price matched for me. So, like, great, great customer service, those guys. Um, but, yeah, so this is, open it up. You've got the transmitter and the receiver, and it's got, like, an L LED screen on it. Oh, they're so little and they're so cute. So, I've heard that these have about seven hours of battery life on them, which should be nice. The struggle to get this out of the box, there we go, is real. So. It comes with the transmitter and the receiver. And they just they just got a clip here so they can clip on to either like, you know, right here or, you know, on the inside so it doesn't look so weird. And also like it says road here, so good job them because that is great um exposure for if anybody's wearing it here. And then the nice thing about this one is that also it also has the clip, but this one can actually slide right up on the top of the camera which is nice and like look how much smaller that is compared to dead cat <laughs> speaking of it does come with a little <laughs> little windscreens these are the cutest little thing i've seen mixed reviews about how well it attaches on top of the speaker someone said it's the second you like look at it too hard basically it's gonna come off but i saw somebody else like doing this and it stayed so maybe his was just effective because that actually seems pretty sturdy <laughs> that looks so funny anyway moving on so it comes with two of those it comes with two USB-C charging cables so you can charge them both at the same time it comes with a nice desiccant pack. 
it comes with the cord to connect it to the camera, which is obviously kind of important <laughs> instructions. Although from what I've heard, they are already paired out of the box together. You only have to worry about repairing them if you uh, switch them up with different ones. So it should be pretty good to go. And then a little case that fits everything in it. I saw somebody put everything in it except the cords, but you know, that's good. So that's what we got. That is my new vlogging setup. I guess I'm going to go charge things and um, really excited to give it a go. Also, by productivity, I realized like today I want to get two chapters edited. Actually, I mostly have to write them, so that's a big ask. But then tomorrow, Netflix is putting out season three of The Crown, and I know I'm going to binge that, so it's going to be a struggle. But that's tomorrow's problem. Today's current situation is not a problem, but it's going to be fun. So I'm going to set this all up, and um, next time I vlog, maybe on my new camera. That's exciting. I got a new camera, guys. I got a new camera. <laughs> I'm so excited. Update time. I am still on the G7X. The battery is charging for my beautiful new baby. Uh, so I'm very impatient though, but we'll wait. These are charged so they're ready to go at any point, but the G7X does not have an input for external microphones. So that's not a thing that's going to happen. I am watching YouTube. It is 20 after 4. I have been not at all productive, but that's okay. We'll get there eventually. I'm just tucking everything away. Everything does fit in here really well, like I said, except for the charging cables, but that's fine. I'm about to eat some cheese. It's in a little pack because I brought it to work, but then I didn't eat it. Anyway, and uh, maybe in a little bit here, I will try to get into my book. I'm I'm not particularly unmotivated, but I'm more motivated to try my new camera. So, I think I just need to accept that it's going to be a while and maybe work on something over here on the computer. Oh, wow. Okay. I did not think I would notice this much of a difference, but just looking at the screen over here, I can already tell that there is such a difference in quality and lighting. I haven't even adjusted any of the settings. This is just straight out of the box. The only down the, the the only downside the only thing that's annoying me right now is because I have the microphone attached here it's kind of awkward and also with this I'm sure I'll figure that out oh look there that's resolved I was looking for my Manfrotto tripod that's the word because I have my other camera on my Joby but I was looking for the other one because it's a little bit smaller, so I was thinking that that would work, but I'm not sure where it is. I've also got the Rode mic pack on right here. Hopefully it's catching good audio. I won't really know until tonight when I go to edit it. I've never edited it with an external mic, so that should be interesting too, but wow, this thing's really heavy. Compared to the GX7, this has weight. This ain't so bad this is a little bit worse, but that's okay. We're cool. I definitely think I do want to get a different lens because like, hello, we can get really close. Uh, but I really feel like I have to hold my arm out super, super far away to, wow, I love this camera. Oh, I was, honestly, I was a little bit afraid that after me humming and hawing about it and like, not wanting to spend the money and then getting it. I was afraid I would hate it, but I love it. I really love this setup. I hope that for editing, this setup works great. I also, I think I've got the decibels at, yeah, it's like at mid-range now, so I hope I'm not clipping, but we'll figure that out as we go. Also, I assume it's picking up well enough under my shirt, but I'm afraid that if I do this, there'll be sound. I don't know. This is going to be a learning curve but I'm so excited. I like this genuine smile. I love this camera. It's so heavy though. I really need to find my tripod, but I'm gonna go now because I'm gonna try to be productive. I just actually made my bed, tidied up and everything. And I was like, okay, it's time to get into editing, but I saw the battery finally charged. So I just wanted to pick it up and give it a try. <sighs> 
Tell me if you notice a difference, because I feel like I do just from looking at the viewfinder over here. Also, it's going to be weird because I'm probably going to get distracted over there, but let me know if you notice a difference. <laughs> I need to put this down because I need to work on my arm strength, obviously. <laughs> All right, so... I was not at all productive. It's been about half an hour since I last picked up the camera, but now I gotta cook dinner, so... I also looked for my tripod and I couldn't find it, which I was kind of surprised by because I know I saw it recently and I thought I had put it somewhere... I probably put it somewhere safe. I thought I put it somewhere safe. I probably did. And um, now I can't find it, which is a little bit annoying, but... It's fine. In good news, despite the fact that earlier today I was completely gassed, I'm actually feeling pretty wide awake and ready to focus. I hope. I hope ready to focus. Um, I've got a couple things on my list and I've done a couple other things, so I like. I feel like I can be pretty productive later today, so it'll just kind of depend on if I can focus. I'm just... I'm just staring over at my bookshelf because I feel like that's where I put my tripod, but I don't see it. I'm like, <laughs> is it under my bed? Maybe it's under my bed. I don't know. I just, I don't understand where it could have gone, but here, oh, I should be able to find it. I was just getting used to holding this. The nice thing is, is this has a pretty solid grip on this side, but my left arm is probably my weaker arm because I'm right-handed can't stop talking about the camera. I'm sorry, but it's new and I'm excited and I need to figure out how to change settings, but it's fine. And I need to also stop looking at myself over there, but that's also fine. But yeah, we're having, what are we having for dinner? Pork chops and nugget potatoes and maybe some cream corn. I don't know. My mom was all like, we need to have potatoes tonight. And then she was like, I don't know if I want potatoes anymore. I was like, potatoes are life if you don't want potatoes. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling now because I just feel like that's what I'm doing. I'm just really excited about this camera. Uh, and I'm going to look under my bed, I think. I think I've, like, I don't, like, I have so much stuff under my bed. Like, clothes, slippers. I have way too many pairs of slippers. Um, laundry. I think if it's anywhere, it might be in that tote, but I don't know. Anyways, I certainly can't look for this with one hand, so I'm gonna look for it with both hands. <sighs> I'll be back. I found it. Can you see it? I don't. I don't. I'm lucky I found that, I think. Anyway, time to go finish cooking dinner. All right, here we go. I have eaten dinner now. It is 20 after 6. It is time to get started. I really am not having much faith in my ability to get two chapters written tonight. I do have notes for them though, so I feel like that will be helpful, but honestly, I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that's what we're gonna do. It's 20 after 6 right now. I'm probably gonna chill and digest my food for just a little bit and then I'm gonna power through <laughs> I don't know I don't know anyways we're gonna see what we can do here you. This is not going as well as I hoped it would. It's been about an hour since I last picked up the camera. I've not been working that whole time, but I've only pumped a thousand words into this chapter. And like... <sighs> there's still so much to write. I have to finish this chapter, and then I have to, I think I have to write like two more? Maybe I don't have to write that chapter. <sighs> It's, it's a lot. 
so <laughs> yeah not going as well as I hoped it would uh, and I also definitely want to edit this vlog tonight because I want to learn anything about the audio or whatnot so I don't have like a couple days where it's crappy because I haven't checked it so that's the thing I have to do tonight as well <sighs> I'm just not in the mood to write. I think that's the problem. Like, editing, I think I could do. So part of me is like, should I just skip this? When dangerous words. <laughs> Maybe I should just skip this for a bit. Get my confidence back because it's... It's not that like my confidence is lacking. It's just, it's a struggle bus, as I note it as my main note for this chapter, struggle bus. So maybe I should take a wander away for a bit get a big word count day to day and then come back at this because I'm not really sure where I'm going I have notes on it so I know what I want to happen but I haven't really thought about it it's very exciting I'm excited about what's gonna happen here but <sighs> maybe I'll skip just for a little bit though also, I have like this huge mess here because I put <laughs> the camera up there and I was just like, oh no, there's too many things here. <laughs> so I literally just shoved everything out of there. I need to, oh, there's another battery back there. I need to reorganize all this anyway because like it's a mess. Oh, it's a GoPro battery. I was trying to figure it out, out what it was. Um, and this was up there, and this was up there. Do you like my beautiful Grinchmas uh, mug that Jessica got me? We both love the Grinch very much. Actually, when she had her daughter, I sent um, a baby's first Grinchmas ornament to her for her daughter because... Anyway, am I going to skip? Am I going to skip? <sighs> Help. Maybe... Okay, I got it. I'll write a blog post. And maybe I can sort out my thoughts while I do that. And then we'll go from there. I'm leaning towards skipping. This is what got me in this situation in the first place, but it's fun. I keep hitting the wrong button when I'm trying to start my vlog because on the Canon, the record button is right on the back here. And um, on this one, it is on the front. Also, it doesn't beep like the um, G7X did. These are both Canons. I don't know why I say Canon. It doesn't beep, and so I'm constantly like, am I recording? I am. All right, so, wrote the blog post. God, this camera's heavy. I'm gonna need to like pump some iron. <laughs> Anyways, I wrote the blog post, and I think what I've decided to do is to skip these chapters I need to add in. If as I'm going along, I feel like going back to them, I will go back to them. But it's just really hard to switch focus between editing and writing and editing and writing and it's just driving me nuts. I've sat here for I probably put like an hour-ish into sitting down and staring at that chapter and I got a thousand and thirty-one words done. Which ironically is how much my camera and my <laughs> audio setup cost me today. <laughs> Not words though dollars but um I didn't even write all those words today though because I wrote some yesterday that I just didn't count on my word count yesterday so I, I'm just I didn't even write that many so the plan right now is to skip to keep going if I feel like it at some point go back to them otherwise at the end of this edit I am just going to do them separately I have notes for them I know what I want to put there I'll just do them separately I'll shoehorn them in after that, like just copy paste them. And then I, when I go through the next edit, I'll make sure that everything flows smoothly. I think that is the best way to go about things. It is 10 after 8 right now. I've got a thousand words to show for the day. <sighs> That's okay though, because this next chapter I believe is about 7,000 words right now, which doesn't seem right, so I might cut that down, although maybe it works. I don't know. Seems like a really long chapter. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to tackle that right now and then hopefully in the next hour and a bit I'll have that done and then that'll put my word count at like 8,000 for the day and I can live with that. But yeah, this is just, it's killing me. So we're skipping it. Also, I don't know if you can hear the rain because like I don't know what the audio situation is but it is raining so hard right now <laughs> there's a wind warning in effect still I can't remember if I mentioned it earlier there's one in effect it was miserable when we were out earlier honestly I was like do we really need to buy groceries 
because I don't want to get out of the car and it sucked. But tomorrow I'm off, which is super exciting. I'm also off the next day. So <laughs> the plan is to be super productive and also sleep in, but I don't want to sleep in too much. But also did I mention that The Crown season three comes out tomorrow? That's a problem. So I don't know if you can hear that. Anyways, I'm gonna go now because I'm just gonna ramble, ramble, ramble. And I will check in with you now, hopefully with good news this time instead of just struggle bus news. Struggle bus really is a good word for what that chapter was. Also, I feel like this is gonna be the longest vlog ever. And I'm sorry, I'm just really, wait, wait. I'm just really excited about my camera. This is so close. <laughs> Really exciting. Okay, bye. Alrighty, so I did it. I skipped those chapters that were just a struggle bus and a half, and I did over 11,000 words today. Huh. That chapter that I was talking about earlier that I said was like 7,000 words, it reads so quick though, so I think it's okay. And I think that was the um, solution or the thought process or whatever, I don't know, my brain's broken, that I came up with um, the previous time when I went through it and that's why I left it so long. So I'm now at chapter 18, which technically was old chapter 16. And it is quarter to 10. I've just been blasting through these chapters now that I'm editing and not writing. Who would have thought writing takes longer than editing? But um, I think what I'm gonna do is uh, end the vlog for tonight because I have to edit yesterday's vlog too and I want to see the heck, see the heck what? <laughs> not English see what the heck this footage and audio and everything looks like before tomorrow obviously because I don't want to jump in tomorrow without knowing and like there'd be like some huge issue where I'm screaming on the mic or something so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna spend the next little while editing and uh, then go to sleep so with that I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure and I'll see you tomorrow when we do very similar things good night